Hello, my name is Hall Rivers Engineer, Pubs uh, Database or Northman Database, any database from the SQL Server into the power using the power designer. Okay, just I'll show it to you first. Here is the data that I'm going to test Northman. Northman is a very old database that is available with the SQL Server. And let me start the power designer. As you can see, here is the power designer, and I will say new. And no need to say new, I can just say reverse engineer right directly from the very beginning. And let me close down the because now the SQL server has no use, so I will just close it down and I will just start it with the reverse engineering. And let's go to the reverse engineer. And I'll select the database. And after selecting the database, actually you need to configure. But in this case, I will say physical model equals to Northwind. Because when you are reverse engineering, we are creating the a power designer is not smart enough to know that you are actually creating a physical model. And I'm just going to click OK. And as you know, I have already configured the ODBC. I have not shown it to in this process. And I will just reverse the admission. And this is the option target model leaving as it is. And I will select now. Here is one. I have checkbox reverse engineer using administrative permissions. Click OK. And when you are using the administrative permission, you would be able. To, you would be also shown up the system tables. You want to, and here power design is very little bit different than the Irwin or the ER Studio. It shows you a very different way. It allows you to select that's not available in Irwin and ER Studio, either one of them. So, this is a little bit different thing. And as you can see, the tables are here. I can select someone, I can deselect someone, whichever I do not feel best. A part of the and if you see the view here I, they are not selected by default so i'm going to select them however something is missing here that is known as select all why should i keep on taking each one of them when i want to select all of them so that being the case you can select them one by one Power design, uh, you know, must have a good reason for doing it. Otherwise, they would have just put. Maybe they did not want. They usually in the reverse engineering, people do not like to reverse the views because. Okay, so this is the system tables. We are not going to do anything with it. This is norms. We are not going to do anything. Here are the roles. In the roles, I would just like to reverse the DBO because the dbo is the database owner and so i just select the db owner and you can select this thing and let's go to the domain because there is no domain defined here defaults are not there and you can see abstract data type i would not actually this is a CLR, clr type so i will just leave it as it is well, you let's select it. Why not select it? Leave it there. So let's go to the another next triggers. There are no triggers in this database. Procedures. Yes, a lot of procedures are there. You can, if you want, you want to, you can reverse in here. But in this case, I will leave it as it is. I'm more interested in tables and views and triggers. Okay, and this is the triggers, storage. This is the primary, uh, what do you call, file name, we are the file group, primary file group. It is not mentioned here, it is a file group. Okay, this is a file group, primary file group. In Irwin, you, in, in not, not in Irwin, but in ERCD, you will never find any database coming up like that. Except the user, 
and I'll just go and select the DBO here and aggregate and when I'm talking about ER Studio, I'm talking ER Studio 8 while using a reverse engineer is not only not only having it doesn't show up it doesn't show up the database in even in the tree list and it's a full catalog this says type I would leave it a partition because there are no partition in the north wind it will not give anything so Q is there I will just leave the Q as it is remote server binding nothing is there and internal and the rest is the last one is XML data collection and that's it and I could have just left it but I just wanted to show it to you that's why and I'll just click OK and as you are seeing it is getting reverse engineered once it gets reverse engineered it will show up all the tables and the views and that being done should close up the this close up this video and after that you can do a little you will have to do a little bit formatting especially in the case of self-referencing tables the power designer usually draws a very long line and I think so it is done so you will be seeing it right now as you can see in the top as you can see F6 and F7 are used to zoom out and zoom out and here is this one I was talking about if you have this problem usually you will get into the problem like the creating the self-referencing it will just draw you you have to correct it by yourself in the power designer usually it draws it to a very very far off and it is a little take some time but I am not interested right now in actually bring it here but it is possible and other details are there and these are the tables that have been reverse engineered and then the bottom there is all views you can see not only it has a view it also gives you a SQL statement down here showing the let me show you you can also look at the zoom in zoom out you know with this thing so if you want to zoom in zoom out it depending upon that thing so zoom in and you will be just seeing in a matter of one second few second that it will once it zooms in you can see the view at the bottom of the line the bottom of the view you can see the code as you already seen it and that's it i think so this is all about the reverse engineering i would not like to go into the details of what has been created but that is it but in the case if you want to zoom look at the diagram and you can view if you by chance if you miss it you can just go to the page view and say all pages so it will and you can zoom out so you can always look at it your diagram is here after zooming in out and then you can zoom in and that's it thank you very much for watching bye bye